Hello everyone, welcome to Sand Patch Raid. It has certainly been a while since I was uh, last on this route. Um, thought why not have a bit of a blast from the past. It's been a while since I've done anything American as well, so why not? All the, all the more reasons for it. Uh, let's get the train set up. Um, HUD on, Genfield on, where are the ditch lights? Oh, well. oh, there they are. Ditch lights, gauge lights, cut off valve. Right. You lead or dead. Number lights front on. Uh, none of the other number lights on. Warning devices on. I think that's more or less everything. Uh, we don't have any DP, I don't think. Nope. Um, and we've just, just got this train. It's relatively long, but we've only got two locos up the front. Uh, SD40-2 and uh, C40-8W. Um, no, CW40-8, my mistake. My mistake, CSX. We have a fancy, fancy terminology. Um, so we've got a hill climb ahead of us in a relatively low-powered machine. Uh, so we'll get going. I'm going to reduce that to initial. I think that's set up correctly, right? Yeah. So if I dump the air. Uh, oh, I need that. Oh, that might help. Putting the reverser handle in. Yeah, that might help, mightn't it? Bail the air off. And we'll just put some power on. Yeah. Oh. Try not to wheel slip. Come on. Come on. Come on. Bit of power. Let's roll. Literally. Gonna move? Gonna move? Gonna move? Yes? No? Maybe? Having to think about it? Come on. Don't wanna go? I try a little bit more power without slipping? Or should I just drop some sand? Drop some sand? Or should I just turn sand on? Come on! Take up the slack. No, 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 no. Come on. Oh, that's quiet. Oh no, that's just because I've only got one one headphone here on, so I'm losing the stereo. Um, we moving? We are moving. Fantastic. Right, way back here. Are we moving? Yes? No. Slack hasn't made it back here. Yet. Yeah, no. Oh, the air isn't even... Back past here, okay. Pulling up slack though. Yeah, that's definitely rolling. No, 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 no. Yeah, the game trying to figure out how much slack, how many slack sounds to play. <laughs> Uh, this is always the challenge with heavy US freight on a hill. It's actually, you know, moving. Once you're moving, it's alright. As long as you don't stall. Which happens. A surprising amount. Okay, it looks like we're moving now. Uh, speed limit is 40 miles an hour. 
And I don't think the whole train is on a hill. No, so it would be nice. Which also probably um, not burn through all of the sand. There we go. We are moving. Avec Vitesse. Yeah, I got fully loaded coal train. How many wagons? 52. So not short, but not super long. Yeah, it'll be a challenge for uh, only two relatively low power locomotives to pull. Uh, so we'll get as much power down at the wheels as quickly as possible. The uh, C40 is going to have to do a lot of the heavy lifting, but that's okay. Going the whole way in as well, all the way into Cumberland Yard. Actually, I don't think we're stopping at Cumberland. I think we're just going on the avoiding, the avoiding lines. Of which there is something something going through at the moment. Cumberland subdivision. Uh, I probably should pull up a signal rules page, but I, uh, but I will. CSX signal rules. Uh, the former SCLCNO, no one, former Conrail. Not that we've got a signal for the next point nine or the next mile. So I can leave that closed for now. It's got full power. We'll see how we go. Gotta remember that I've got the alert turned on, so hopefully that won't catch me up, but you never know. And we'll try and get up to 40 miles an hour. But may or may not actually get there. There's a 50 limit, apparently. And there's no marker that says 45, so I'm not sure how much I trust that. And the marker keeps bouncing back. Okay, sure. Why not? Alerter. Try not to get alerted. Are we going to see anything coming past? I wonder. Is there anything at the mine? Oh, not me. Anything coming past? Anything at all? No? No, it would not appear that way. And is that... No, that's not the fast bit. That's the top of the hill, is it? No. Um, where is the top of the hill, or is that past back? Now that's the fast bit, and then... Is there anything on the fast bit? Yes! One single train. Right, we're still fine on the reverser. Um, anything else coming up? No? 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 Okay, sure, whatever. Looks like there are a few trains ready to go, but whether they actually do go or not, we shall see. But no, the top of the hill is um, only here, I think. Could be wrong, though. I think, so. I think that's up the hill. Top of Sand Patch Grey. But we'll see, because we'll know if the speed limit um, drops. Maybe. No, what am I talking about? Who knows? 
Right, what's their speed limit? Still 40? Good. Got a signal, but the previous one was clear, so I'm expecting it to be at least a proceed. Grab the alerter. That's a 45 limit. So I presume that's the 45 that the game was trying to tell us about ages ago. Ah. Engines decided to conk out. That's great. At least we're rolling now. At least we're rolling. Got some momentum behind us. Lots of coal. Be nice if some of them had graffiti on. And not the same uniform weathering, but whatever. It's repeatedly um, tapping Q just to make sure there's no um, no emergency brake applications. Unless I'm outside. And here we go. Approach. No, this, what am I talking about? Clear. Full clear. That's a seaboard, is it? Oh, that's a seaboard and CNO. Oh, maybe not. Who knows? Proceed. And this Conrail position light signalling is funky. Funky. Alright. Looks like we've actually got some speed up now. We still on a gradient? Oh no, we're on the level now. Not for long though, I can't imagine. We can sort of try and slingshot ourselves up the hill. I wonder, is the speed limit still 45? It is. Nice. And what are you? Your reduction? Would have been nice to know about on the track monitor, you know, like what it's for. Warned of upcoming speed restrictions, but that's okay. Limited to 35, apparently. And apparently, we can go up to whatever that is, 79, but I don't think I believe that. Just wait for that to come back down to 35. Got the weight of an entire train behind us. Resist the pack working hard to burn off that heat. Yeah, there's thirty five, okay. Might just leave that in power one for now. Till we either go up or down. No, I said one. Come on, rail driver. Yeah, 30, 34 miles an hour. So we'll just keep power on a little bit. Just a touch. 
Oh, there's 33. You must be on the hill again. Yep. Start laying it on. All the power to you. Ha ha, ha ha. Uh, back in the days when we had freight routes with lots of different types of train and uh, good old days. High ball, no worries there with the speed. No restrictions. Are we on the flat again? What's going on? No, we're on a steep air. Okay. Presume is more of the train gets on the hill will uh, start to slow down a bit more maybe don't know but there's 35 so we'll cut the power now maybe not that much that is quite nice seeing that Speak round. Okay, a bit more power. Okay, full power. Lots of hoppers. Lots of harpers. Right. 2.3 miles, Garrett Main number two. Right, losing speed a little bit now. It's okay. But this is like a textbook example of where to electrify something. Because if you had electric traction, all of the times you'd be dynamically braking be putting that energy straight back into the grid where another thing can another train can use it to pull back up save so much on fuel but that would require swapping some locos around which doesn't fit with precision schedule railroading Still 35, still 35. Not that that's much of a concern. Only doing 30. that signal, uh, alerter, sorry, my mistake. My bad, my bad. Now we've got a signal coming up. It's one of the more exciting things. It's got a wind turbine up in the distance as well, look at that. Fantastic.
my god, visibility on these, um, what are they, standard cabs, technical term, so bad, right, got another high ball, any level crossings, no, there's a, uh, under, over bridge, under bridge, what, a, a bridge, And we are staying on the main. Couldn't have told that by the uh, location we're going via. Uh, oh, oh, okay, that's the climb. Oh. Yeah, I thought so. I thought there was another place. Ah, that would be... Would that be? I think it might be. That might be the top of the summit. up to 35 miles an hour now so we can pull that off and just wait for this slingshot which will be in about two miles it's pretty vicious he's hoping we don't stall it's certainly not moving very quickly though only 35 miles an hour. Ah, that's alright. It's alright indeed. High ball. High green. Proceed. Okay, looks like we're holding the speed quite well there. Still hovering at 35. Objective complete. Goal via location. That was a... That turnout was set incorrectly, but whatever, okay, sure. Ah, that'd be it, Sam Patch, that's the top of the hill. Five miles away. Isn't there that big bridge over the tracks soon? Well, that we're sort of ish out of the valley? Well, I mean, the, 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 we're still in the valley, but the valley is less steep. Who knows? Ah, alerter. Alerter. Get a bit more power. We're only on throttle three, so I've got lots of lots of power to spare. How are we going on the map? Not awful. This is meant to take an hour and 17 minutes. Oh yeah, there's the bridge, just loaded in. I wonder, is this actually a 40 limit? Nope. Track monitor is just completely broken. Whistle pops. There we go. 
Silt 35 did a bit more power. Yeah, this is the big... Oh, it's not a trestle, but... Big viaduct, nonetheless. I wonder what it is, actually. Should Google it. Um, open street map. Sand patch. There it is. Um, so we are just coming up. The Salisbury Viaduct is what it's called. Salisbury Viaduct is a bridge in Somerset County, Pennsylvania, near Merseydale that spans the Castleman River Valley, built in 1912 by the Western Maryland Railway for its Connorsville extension. It was built to accommodate two tracks, but only one was ever... Also, it was a railway bridge. Only one was ever... It was decommissioned in 1975. In 1998, it was modified to use as a rail trail, open to pedestrians and cyclists as part of the Great Allegheny Passage. Huh. Interesting. Interesting, interesting. Right, we got, uh, I believe that's coming up from a coal mine. We're trundling along at 25. And I also, I believe Amtrak runs some trains along here as well. Because there's a station in Cumberland. Cumberland, Pennsylvania. Oh, we're bleeding speed now. Bleeding. Just as long as we can keep up. I'm sorry. It's a 1 in 120, which is pretty nasty for big freight trains like this. Passenger trains that take it easily. I think the G44 can accelerate normally on a 1 in 17. Such good torque. Because these things have good torque, awful acceleration. And, you know, they're just built to pull, not built to go quickly, really. That better not be a steep section. Better not be an extra steep bit. Better not. A loader. Better not be... Oh, it isn't. Okay. We're supposed. To, I think I can probably wait a little bit on the whistling because we're going so slowly. Doesn't need to be twenty seconds. So. The FRA is such a stupid organisation. I'm enforcing this. 
but not enforcing any kind of sensible rule. You know, the only logical decision I think they've made in the last few years is considering letting Brightline West use non-US made trains. Any more crossings? Uh huh. Of course there are. At least we're not losing speed anymore. Another crossing. Old station. Fantastic. Okay. Oh, is that another one? No, it's just the sun. Right, how are we going on the hill? Oh, only... well... Once we get the sand patch, we can go over it, and then we're downhill, and then we are cruising. Still 120? Yeah. 1 in 120, which really, it does not feel like you would not notice that if you were walking up a 1 in 120. And you can probably barely tell. Quite a but it's an eight point. But it is steep. Grab that. How long is the train? 900 yards, okay. It's about half, uh, not quite, no, sort of half a mile. Is that half a mile? What's half a mile? Let's have a look. How long is half a mile? Uh, on silent mode. 0.8 kilometers. So yeah, we're just over half a mile. It's okay. We're not losing speed, that's all that matters. But we must be burning through fuel. Speaking of, how do you... Is there... There isn't a fuel gauge in here. How are you meant to tell? Is there like a f there must be a fuel gauge somewhere somewhere in here whoa that's one of the old style buttons isn't it that they've left on amazing how big the radiators on these things are. Like you think, just compared to these two, just got to make sure I hope I get alerted. Um, like here, the radiator is that big, and here the radiator is this big. But I mean, that's a result of environmental regulation, which is a good thing. Locomotive is getting more efficient, which is better for everyone. Better for the operators, because it's, I mean, apart from the initial slightly increased upfront cost, it means they spend much less on fuel. Good for the environment. Win, win, win. I mean, Australia gets, um, we've got no emission standards for locomotives, and um, 
so there's and the, the tier four local uh, the tier four engines are too big to fit into our loading gauge so UGL rail C forty four ACI. Heavy duty diesel electric locomotive. Um, these are what are they? What are they? What engines do they have? Shut up. Um, our output. Uh, um, what are they? What are they based on? Um, they're based on the CV40-9i, got a catchy name, uh, NR class, which are based on what? Actually, you know, what's the engine behind it? Prime Mover. 7 FDL 16. Ah, okay, so it's the same engine in a um, AC 44CW. So no Jeevos. Shut up. Um, and then the other ones that the um, Australian equivalent of EMD, which are the GT46C ACE, very catchy. Um, they have. EMD 16720 G3CES Fantastic, which is um, Be quiet Oh, okay. Sort of equivalent to an SD seventy. That can't be right. That can't be right. SD seventy. What's the power output of an SD seventy? Uh, SD seventy AC TR four. 46,000, okay. No, not 4,600. Oh, we are crawling along. As long as we make it to Sandpatch, that is, that's the only, only thing. And this train's made it up most of the way. Oh, both of them have. There's one waiting for me. Must be. Um, does this have helpers on the back? No, okay. Uh, but the, the rest of the way down, we should be able to knock that over pretty quickly.
Okay. Uh, this is interesting. I'm just reading the signal rules sheet. Ah, shut up. Um, when two speeds are shown, the higher speed indicates passenger. Okay, so the lower speed is for everything except passenger. Good to know, I guess, maybe. Maybe not. Who knows? Now, I think we make reasonable time, considering it's taken... 40 minutes to do the grueling climb. And this should be reasonably quick. And I think we can get up to like 50 or 60 miles an hour on that long straight bit. But yeah, the speed limit's still only 35. Only 1.2 miles until Sam Pear. Let's level crossing. Oh, all the way around here, okay. Road closed. Oh, that's helpful, isn't it? That mean the crossings are gonna the uh, boom gates are gonna go down? No, oh, the sound of those EMD engines. And now you've got the GE engine. Burn and through. Oh, wow, that was... Real fast, isn't it? You can see the rotation in the wheels. Oh, but we put a bit more speed on. 13. Wow. Good stuff, though. They make it. 15 by the time the train finishes passing? Maybe? Maybe not? Who knows? Only God knows. Only God knows anything. But he knows everything. It's more a sort of Florida, Florida man. Still going. Still going. And there is the back of the train. Still doing 13 miles an hour. A measly 13. But we're now a little bit closer to Sandpatch. A little bit closer, a little bit closer. It'll be there soon. One train length away. I don't know why this train stopped, because that then means that this one behind is also stopped. 
The more the merrier, I guess. The more the, mer the, more the merrier. Back down to 12 miles an hour. I mean, at least we haven't stalled, which is what I was somewhat worrying about, because I've done that a few times on Sherman Hill, and on this route as well. That's never fun, because it's almost impossible to recover from a stall. As long, like five miles an hour, as long as you can hold the five miles an hour, just wait. But like starting this again on a steep slope would have been torturous. It's actually genuinely been torturous. So And we're about to go over the hill, so we'll be alright. Be alright on the night. This is why American freight is so slow. I mean an electric locomotive is so much more powerful. You just wax 25 kilovolt wise, or even more. Like do your own bespoke thing with even more kilovolts. Electric freight is the way. You know, the US class ones would never agree. But God, look at how slowly that's counting down. But it's more or less where the hill starts. No, it's alright. Does this have a due in time? No. But it's probably nine forty nine fifty thereabouts. Oh no, not nine. No, okay. Nine. Twenty-seven. Right. So I've got half an hour to get down the other side. Which hopefully is manageable. Yeah, another locomotive on the rear would have been really quite helpful. No! The sun is a deadly laser. Not anymore, there's a blanket. Twelve miles an hour! Ha ha! We downhill now? No, but we gonna get there. 13! Ha! Oh. Speed's coming up. Hill's going down. Objective complete. 14! This is the stuff. I can meant to go downhill now. Like now. Be nice. One in five hundred. Good. Downhill. Good. Oh, steep. Limited to thirty, but I don't care. It's soon gonna fly downhill.
18 miles an hour. 19. Twenty. Twenty-one. Twenty-two. Twenty-three. This is good, I like it. I probably need all of the dynamic brakes to slow this thing down on the hill. So the whole train is more or less on the hill pushing down. Hit that dynamic for a few more seconds. dynamics on. See what they can manage. I reckon we'll be full power the rest of the way down probably. Or close to it. Still 30 miles an hour. Then we break 7, we'll see what that gets us. Should be a train waiting for us. Where's Hyman? That's at the top of the um, flat bit, yeah. Let's just find him. Oh no, L is the. My mistake. Still 30? Yep. Flying down. How steep the hill? Oh, one in fifty! Christ! Okay. Four locomotives on that one. Cool and normal. I'm going to need to have some air brake on this, because I think dynamics will not slow us enough on a 1 in 60 downgrade. Is that a... oh, that's an empty coal hopper. Why does it look so different? Is that a gondola? No, it's definitely a hopper. Good. I need to go more brakes, because we are not slowing down. Full loco independent brake. Looks like that's pulling it back down now. Good. Ish. Oh, 35, that'd be nice. Would be very nice. There's a post.
Now I've got to be careful because I don't want to ride the um, friction brakes all the way, or I and I don't want to fan them either because I'll run out of air. Still keep some pressure in there. That won't keep any pressure in. Leave it off for now. There's some slack. Whilst there's still some air left in the back of the train. Initial reduction. The speed limit ever go up? Apparently right now. But I believe it when I see it. Right, full friction brakes on the locomotives. Try not to melt them off. Alright, there you go. Nope, not enough. Grab the alerter. Main res must be working pretty hard. Ah, intermodal. Just two locos up front. Must have to be pretty light. Go a little bit off. When is this alleged 35 mile an hour increase? Ever? At all? Yesterday? Today? Tomorrow? And the 50, should I believe that either? Those brake blocks would be burning red by now, but... Oh, there's the 35, okay. I don't have a train length buzzer though, so that's... a shame. some photos why not why not hey eh? step the field all the way in please thank you exposure maybe a little bit up saturation a little bit more okay focal points no not gonna bother with that field of view in focal points
uh, what I want. Hide overlay. There we go. I'll just keep watching that, see when we can jump up to 35. It's 50 for passenger trains, but clearly still just 35 for us. 25? Huh? Since when? They will release the air brakes. Give them a bit of time to cool down. We'll come a little bit off with the independence, let them cool down slightly, a little bit. sworn that that was a um, 35 on the sign, not 25, but what would I know, huh? And now I'm driving through thick fog, which is going to help. The auto brakes have a rest. We'll pick them back in. Still at twenty five, yep. A little bit more air brake. No, let's get some loco brake in then. Right, that's it. Okay. Uh, 
I think perhaps the uh, time estimation might be a little bit off. Just a little bit. Because we're, um, yeah, the AI can do this in an hour and 17 minutes. We can go an hour and six minutes. We're maybe more halfway there, but I mean, going a lot faster. I don't think it'll take, I think, I think uh, an hour and a half, maybe, maybe, I don't know, I'll see how close I can get it, without breaking the rules, without being naughty. Is there a tunnel near here? Is that a tunnel? No? There's no train. I thought there was a tunnel. I must be wrong. Hopefully we can get up to speed on that section. I hope we can. Here we go, railroad speed limit. The speed limits in the United States is a whole Wikipedia article. Um, right. I'm off the brakes slightly. So this would be class five lines. Or a class four or oh, class three or class four. Maybe. 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 With any luck, we'll uh, be able to get up to Yeah, who knows With any luck, we can get up to 40 or 60 that last little bit. So again, it still thinks we're going to jump up to like 90 miles an hour. But if we can get up to 35, that'd be a start. Still don't quite understand why this was 25 and this is 35, unless it's just wrong again. And there's a manifest. The speed limit, no speed limit, still exactly the same. Not changing a bit.
Oh, I'm doing a bit of an audio here. I'm not paying attention, I'm trying to research the speed limits. And blew through the crossing without whistling. Oh no, we have got a 30 limit. Okay, golden. Fantastic. Brilliant. an hour. Right, this will post. I'm paying attention now. I am paying attention. Um, yeah, we're probably going to get to Hindman at 9.30. So, yeah, we're probably looking at an hour and 30, hour and 40 minutes, maybe. One of these rumoured speed increases. A rumored three uh, thirty-five limit coming up. But who knows? Who knows? We're getting close, though. Now. Getting close. I wonder if this section has um, speed limits on open railway map. Open railway map. Be a good question. Where's Pennsylvania? That would be up here. Would it? Where's Altoona? That's Pennsylvania. Um. Ah, Cumberland. There we are. Max speeds. Nope, not that. Uh, we've got an engine, I think, coming up. A ball. Are we sort of moving now? Release the automatic brake. Right. No, 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 I don't want that. 
it's not minimum break. Initial reduction. There you go. Minimum service. Release the brakes. Oh, well that was uh, some funky lighting. Apparently we can go up to 35. Oh, and the fog's disappeared, has it? Or is that just the tunnel playing tricks? No, that's just the tunnel playing tricks. and hold 30 is that with any luck that will actually be a 35 mile an hour limit and it won't just keep bouncing around Okay, apparently, apparently we're coming up to 35. Who knows whether that's true or not. Nope, 30. And that was a crossing that I missed. Hmm, that's... So many rules broken on this one journey. She's alright. She'll be right. There's the sun behind the fog. It's a bit funky. I don't want any wipers. <laughs> Thanks, train. Right, high ball. And apparently three miles and we can have some speed limit increases. To 60. It would be nice if it's true. It would be very nice if it was true. And how long have we been going for? Oh. And how 21 minutes. Okay. And we're not even at Hyman yet, which we've still got. I don't know, maybe 15 miles to go? Nah, it's alright. All good.
yeah, 30 seems a bit overkill for much of this route. I reckon most freight trains could do 45. It's probably more to do with how good the infrastructure actually is than anything else. Oh, there goes the fog. Just like that, huh? Just like that. Come off the independent slightly, let them cool a little bit. Weaving down by the Cumberland River, maybe? Don't know. Perhaps. There's a 30, 30 for everything. That seems warranted though, it's quite a tight turn. Okay, full, full application on the independent. Which, in the real world, would have just melted off completely by now. Is that snow on the hill? Oh, and the trees loading in, isn't that beautiful? Beautiful and realistic, just how I like it. Another alleged 35, we'll see if that's true or not. We shall see. Around the bend. Oh, the 35 has just mysteriously dropped off, hasn't it? Uh huh, as have the uh, alleged increases to 60 miles an hour. Surely it can't be that hard to make the track monitor just work, considering it's been around for months and there's a full time development team working behind this game. You know, you would have thought. You would have thought, wouldn't you? Anyway, whatever. Hi, Bo. Still cruising at 30. And we'll continue to cruise at 30. It's better than 10, but who knows. I, I do remember the speed limits on that straight section beyond Heinland being faster, but maybe it's only on the uphill, I don't know. I'm worried about downhill trains running away or something. Winding around here. Must be a slow journey for passengers, though. Must be. No, 
they're holding 30 very nicely. <laughs> I mean, the resistor grids have um, probably melted away now as well. <laughs> the whole, the whole, the whole locomotive just melted away. It's just hot lava running down, being pushed by 50 freight cars. What's the main reservoir at? 90? Uh, oh no. 130 something. Speeding. Okay. My mistake. My bad. My bad. Coming up to an hour and a half, I thought we'd be in Cumberland by now, we're uh, not even at Heinemann. I'm being quite careful pronouncing that because it turned into something quite different. Hindman. Hindman. Let's see. Right now we're coming down onto the the straights. No speed limit increases in sight. Lovely. Fantastic. Anything coming up? Anything make the journey a bit interesting? Oh. Oh. Okay, sure. Oh no, there is, okay. Just above there. There's a caboose lying around here somewhere. I thought there was. I think there might still be. Maybe it's closer to Hindman. Hind, Hindman. Can't slip up. That lovely, well kept bridge there, evidently. Oh, we can go! How long has that been at 50? Oh, okay, nice. Oh, there's the caboose. Yeah, lovely. Oh, it's two. Chessy system as well. Yeah, now we can get some speed up. What's the hill looking like? Okay, you should be able to do this on dynamics. Two, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
Dynamics on. Our no, passenger trains can do. What is that? Seventy nine. We're still on a high ball. Might need a little bit of air brake. Pull us back to 50. Where is this Ellerslie place? Ah, uh, just, just outside Camden. Huh? Okay. Hit in the face, the branch. Wow! Fell off. Cruising nicely now. Very nice, very nice. Uh, 49 quite nicely there as well so sure the bit all good right, another high ball another high ball There's 50. Air brakes. There you go. Just a touch. Bring the speed back down. Right, uh, speed is dropping slightly, so I'll just pull the dynamics back. Very good. Ok, 
Okay, we're aboard. Another high ball. And another level crossing. What's the gradient here? Okay, a little bit of that. Fell off. Is that another grade crossing? It is too. Where is this other train? Must be nearly up to us. Unless I might on it yet, so. We went past another uh, whistle post, so I presume we're just going to keep chilling here. Yep. And we'll pull the dynamics back a little bit more. Okay, so they're at 50. Yep, nice. miles to go until Ellerslie, if I'm going for an hour and 40 minutes. Timetable to take one hour and 17. And that looks like it levels off, so I might pull back one notch on the dynamics. Just the one. Just monitor that, make sure it's okay. There's definitely some snow around. Just the trees just look hideous. No, oh, nothing. Or is that closed? That looks like it was fenced off. Ah, oh, that's how we're supposed to. through there. Surely this would be 79 miles an hour for freight, or 70 or something. Or is it just too hard for a private company to keep stuff up to scratch? I mean, at least CSX hasn't had as many uh, deadly and explosive collisions as um, <coughs> a particular <coughs> class one. <coughs> Very nice. But, oh, yeah, whatever. If the US wants to live in its free market is better than everyone else worldview, they're more than entitled to. They're just 
everyone else can just point and laugh. And here comes our other train, two SD40s in lead. An oil train. With some empty hoppers on each end, so that might have sand in them or something. Just so workers can ride on something, if they're like shoving or whatever. Oh, that was an unannounced 35. Thank you, Track Monitor, for being so helpful. And we'll bail that off now because it's going to take some time for the air to leave the train. Maybe? Maybe not? No? Apparently not. Okay, we'll leave some air brakes on then. So you're fine. Uh, 38. More. 7. There you go, hold nicely. Slack. Right, get some dynamics on. We're almost there. Almost there. There's another train coming out to play. Coming out of the yard. Might make things interesting for us if we go cross over it. I don't know, maybe. What's the gradient like? Oh, I want him. Okay, not awful, but not terrible. What, what am I saying? Not awful, but not terrible. Not awful, but not good. Cool. Right, 500 yards coming up into Ellerslie. What does this one have to say? 25, again, completely unannounced. Track monitor being super helpful. The Uncumberland in three miles. the gradient oh we're on the level it's all right leave that off i can hear the engine completely spool down a bit of power too much 
That'll do. Right, I need further speed decreases. Maybe. Are we going into the yard? No, we're going onto the avoiding lines. Or the through lines or whatever. No avoiding, because through would go through the middle. And he's going to wait for us, is he? Good. Right, power idle. Bouncy. It's dovetail physics going very well there. Bouncing around. Can be a loader. Whistleboard. Not going too quickly, so I won't. Don't go super fast. Ah, track monitor's decided to tell me something. Will it be true or complete bollocks like the rest of it? The dynamic brakes. Come on. There you go. I'm going to leave a little bit of dynamics on. Right, what's this signal telling me? Green, uh, no, yellow over green over red is approach medium. Proceed approaching the next signal at medium speed. Medium speed being 30 miles an hour. That's alright. Allegedly got a 15 limit coming up, so I'm going to go some reductions for that. There's a Nacy... Is that a... No, that's a C40. Oh, that might be either, is it? No, it's an AC, and that must be an AC as well. Yep. I don't need to slow down that much. They're lovely cab layers. Oh, it's an auto rack train. Oh, what? Long one. Why are we going so slow? So, yeah, go 15 limit. Okay.
Is it slipping? No? Okay. Oh, some traffic. Wowie. Into sunny Cumberland. Actually, around the um, railway at least, looks like a reasonably quaint town. It doesn't look awful, apart from the fucking great highway. And the other highway. I mean, I don't know why I'm going off a train simulator, is it? bearing of whether a town is nice or not. And this is the um, station, just to make sure there's no one there too. Cumberland. No Amtrak branding, because I probably didn't have an Amtrak license back then. Although, did they? Yes. Well, auto rack train is on the move. It's a 35 limit. It's nice. Well, they've got some helpers on the back. Speaking of the back, how's our train going? We're still all the way back here. It's only just be past the. Oh no, okay, that, that head. Blah, 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 the head of that train is going quite far. Would you like to stop anytime soon? Clearly not. Yes, thank you. Okay, a bit more break. Back to the train, past that. Be bored? Soon, soon. Soon we will be free, hopefully, maybe. And we should be okay for 35, in Leeds. Okay, full power. Ruin the train's mechanisms. Yeah, up to 35. The last little bit, and we've got to stop just outside the yard. Is there a red there? Where's the next signal? Oh, not for ages. Not until the end of the yard. All good. All good. Any switching manoeuvres going on? Nope. Oh, no, there are. Just this guy. Having a move. Having a gay old time. A loader. Lots of RVs I've noticed. Doctor just uses them as. for everything. Or maybe everyone drives RVs in this part of the world. Um, okay. Single yellow 
is approach. Uh, medium speed, which is 30 miles an hour, so that's okay. We're doing 30 miles an hour. And we'll go for a stop, maybe, eventually. See how quickly these things can stop. No? <laughs> oh no, stopping now. Use the brakes just so the train doesn't absolutely destroy itself from uh, slack action. Okay, release, initial reduction. Eight miles an hour. Seven. Yeah, we get a bit of independent brake then. And full power, uh, full, not full power, full brake. There you go. Nice gentle stop. Oh! That didn't take a long time. Oh, time to take two hours. Oh, my goodness. My goodness. Three miles. Oh. I need to get up and have a walk now. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed. And I'll see you all next time. Have a fantastic day. Goodbye.